This is a video walkthrough of 534 Cheval Drive. This is in the Venice Golf and Country Club. It's a nice cul-de-sac street. Um, all the houses have tile roofs here. It is a deed restricted community. Um, a lot of nice amenities here in the Venice Golf and Country Club. This is a large house. It's 2,766 square feet built in 1993. Sorry, I had to read that. Uh, this house has been on the market for a while. It originally came on at 355000 It's been subsequently lowered and lowered again, and now it's listed at three twenty. dollars um, As I walk in, it has really high ceilings, like 12 foot, um, and with big mirrors over there, which are a little dated, but it really makes it seem bigger than it actually is in here. Uh, the carpet is, is kind of a bluish carpet. It smells a little musty. It's been vacant for some time. The thing I like about this house, though, is that it is large. As I walk through into the kitchen, there's a lot of square footage in here. Uh, the kitchen is very white, but clean and nice and functional. Um, the solid surface cab uh, countertops are actually... That's actually granite. It's actually a pretty nice granite. I have to say it's pretty. This um, Gen Air, though, is a little dated and yucky, as is the stove. Could be updated. The cabinets are kind of a gloss white. Can't tell if these are... Yeah, they're a thermofoil. Um, easy to keep clean. like the backsplash, but it's a big, big room with a little breakfast nook here. This um, area is all open and big. There's a guest bath hidden back here. How about that? A little guest bathroom. So that's the half bath because this is three uh, bedrooms and two and a half baths and that's where the the half bath is located. Um, big open and airy right here. As I walk through this door, this is going to take me to the master. It does not have a pool, but there I would say there is room for a pool. As I come into the master suite, there's a big walk-in closet which walks, interestingly enough, through it to the laundry room, which goes out to the garage. I kind of like that little sneaky passageway. That can obviously be blocked off. has a uh, slider door there. The bedroom itself is um, nice. It is big. I don't know if I like these window treatments, but uh, they are there. It's a big room. It's Kind of an interesting shape. The carpet's kind of yucky and really needs to go. Um, the walls, it could use a paint job. Fair amount of holes in the wall from paintings and such. All in all, it's okay. Love these wall plates. You don't see wall plates like that every day. As I walk into the master bath, uh, it is a bit dated. It is kind of funky. I like this rounded... Uh, this rounded wall there. This tub is is pretty dated, uh, as is the cultured marble sink tops, but it is a big master bedroom, a uh, bathroom. This is this is large. And the shower, aside from this pink tile, is actually pretty cool. That little seat there. Um, I think that lights up there, which is cool. I do like the glass block. This isn't bad. The mirrors are a bit dated there and probably should go. As I walk back to the other two, two bedrooms here, the long hallway, bedroom number one, carpet's actually in good condition, but it's pink. Um, vertical blinds, big walk-in closet. I like the little areas above the closet give some interest. This is the guest bath, which is big. I have to say, this is a very spacious guest bath with a tub. And then a nice walk-in shower. Color's fine here. I don't think that's pink. Yeah, well, maybe it is, unfortunately. This bedroom is, is large. This is a really good-sized bedroom here um, with a closet. So walk back. The two bedrooms and one bath there. You have a lot of space here. Um, you have this whole dining room, which in my opinion, could be converted to a bedroom. That would be a possibility. The garage is a three car, well, I'm gonna say two and a half car garage. 
Uh, you have cabinets built in here. The AC system looks okay, as does the water heater. It, this is more of a little golf cart um, door. And that's pretty typical in this community. Decent washer and dryer, wash tub sink. There's that secret passageway to the master closet. Um, I guess my comment on this is you have this large space. You have a lot of square footage right here and uh, you don't really need that formal dining room, but it is kind of cool with the pillars, but it is possible that could be converted to a bedroom. Uh, the sink, uh, the kitchen is open and airy, looking out onto the golf course and the lake. No pool. It's interesting they have, um, they have uh, shutters that close this all off, as you can see that track there. For hurricane shutters, you can totally close this whole area off, which is kind of, which is kind of neat. Um, that's the lot line there, so it is a bit tight. I don't a pool. You could put a hot tub, but not a pool. It's just not enough room. A little outside eating area, but this is a nice, nice area, and that is a pretty view. And this is a nice little screen enclosure. So. For a three bedroom, two and a half bath, listed at 320, 2,700 square feet, puts this at $115 per square foot, which is a pretty good value. Um, I like this house, I like the square footage. It is definitely a three bedroom though, with, with no chance of uh, changing that with the exception of, of modifying this dining room. Uh, I like the doors, I like the entranceway, needs carpet. All in all, a pretty good house. I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International Realty, 941-366-0000. This is 534 Cheval, and you can email me at tcrjules at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.